Hello world, this is Random Fix, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to check the drive monitors on your Ford vehicle without having to use one of these OBD2 readers. So I'm going to show you what we're looking for and how you can easily tell with the flip of a key if the drive monitors on the vehicle are ready. And this applies to any 1996 and newer Ford vehicles. So let me show you how to go ahead and get this done. And we're going to check the monitors first just so I can show you that everything is ready. Then I'll show you what to check for in case they're not. And again, all you need is your key. I'm going to go ahead and show you that the monitors are ready and the before and after. So find your OBD2 port on your driver's side wheel well area. This is the connector here and this only goes in one way. You're going to notice that you have power there. But you want to go ahead and turn the ignition on. So the check engine light is on and the car's engine itself should be off. And on my scan tool right here, I'm gonna hit IM. This stands for inspection monitors. And these are pretty cool. They run under 30, 40 bucks, but you can see all my monitors here are ready. So basically I have everything green and anything that has an NA or a little dash through there basically doesn't apply. Now I'm gonna show you guys what happens when I erase the drive cycle here and it's gonna erase everything and all the data will be lost so I'm gonna confirm yes and now you can see on my OBD2 reader it's letting me know that their monitors are not set so if I hit IM monitors again we're gonna see that a bunch of the monitors are not ready and they actually have an X through there like the EVAP the catalyst and some of the components and let me show you guys the difference now so when you turn your ignition on, before the check engine light would just stay on. Now we're going to go ahead and cycle the key. And wait. And right there you can actually see that the check engine light is blinking. This is letting you know that the inspection monitors are not ready. So anytime you're buying a vehicle and you just go ahead and cycle the key or if you want to check the inspection monitors, put the key in the ignition and start counting 13, 14 and normally by the 15th second the check engine light is going to start blinking. That's letting you know your inspection monitors are not ready. So if you guys have watched my other videos, you definitely want to figure out why. Use a little scan tool like the one I showed you guys earlier and figure it out or get a pre-sale inspection. So let me show you that one more time. Turn the ignition on. Find the check engine light right there. Wait 15 seconds. And if you guys actually need to complete your four drive cycle monitors, I have a video in the description box below whether you have a Ford, a GM, I cover every single make. And also one other thing is there's going to be check engine lights and there is going to be permanent codes. So if you have a 2010 and newer vehicle like a Ford, I'm going to have a video link in the description box below on what a permanent code is and how you can actually reset that because if you have a permanent code, a regular drive cycle is not going to help you. It's a little bit of more involved process and this only applies to 2010 vehicles and this drive monitor check here can be used on any Ford 1996 and newer. Thanks again guys for checking out the video. If the video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and I really appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.